What's going on guys, it's Prototype and welcome back to another Knights and Dragons video. I really hope you guys have been enjoying these Knights and Dragons videos. Uh, I did post a video asking you guys to kind of uh, give me opportunities to open chests on your account and this guy actually messaged me, I'll go ahead and show off who he is. Uh, his name is Eclipse. I want to thank him very very much for letting me do this chest opening. As you can see, he has a butt ton of gems, 2,888 and the flourishing chest just came out. As you can see, uh, it is the one with the Highline Sleet Robe, which is a very, very good armor. I think it's one of the best armors, or best Dragon Forges that they, uh, they actually said that it was one of the best. So, we're going to go ahead and open a bunch of these. Uh, hopefully we'll get that Dragon Forge. I really think he'll be fine with anything. So, first chest, we get a Legendary. Alright. Did they change the animation for that? It looked like it was Purple Sparkles coming out as well. Yeah, look, it just sparkled purple. Is that new? Is that new, guys? It looks different. I don't know. Tell me if it's new. Leave a comment if that's new. I don't really think it is, but I know they updated it recently. Oh, we got it, guys! We got it third try! What? What? Is it plus or is it regular? It's regular, but we got it third try. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to go ahead and screenshot. Holy crap, dude. Congratulations. That... I feel like we can stop the video there and save him a bunch of gems, but you know what? We're going to keep going because he said he wants us to leave him with... 1,000 gems left over, which means we get to spend about 1,800, which is nuts. This guy is insane for wanting to spend this much on chests, but so far, I wouldn't blame him, honestly. That's really, really good, uh, really good reward. I think it was only two times chance when we got that one. So right now we have six times, and we got a legendary. I apologize for the lag. I'm not quite sure what's going on. There was a recent update to Knights and Dragons, so maybe they changed a few things, and it's causing it to lag on my phone. I don't know. Oh, we got an epic. All right. That's bright wind play mail. Not terrible. And we got two fusion boosts, and now we have 20 times chance, which means we have 10 times more of a chance to get one now compared to what we got one earlier, and we didn't get it that time. That's nuts, guys. Wow. Be sure to leave a comment saying hashtag hype. That was insane. Oh, okay, that's weird. Your winnings. Uh, but I did actually get something there. I think I got the uh, Fire Spirit Legendary. So we got another Legendary. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to skip it because once I know I get a Legendary, uh, the second reward is guaranteed, so I don't really need to see what it is. It's not anything that special, and we can't open a bunch of them at one time, so I really have a habit of not skipping something, so it feels very, very strange for me to click skip all of these times. So we will hopefully have 20, we have 20 times chance for this chest, so hopefully we get another one, and we get an ultra rare. Pretty lame, pretty lame. And a Dark Prince chest key, alright. Uh, let's add another one, we have one times chance on this one. So I wanted to talk to you guys about this. What do you guys think is the best chest to open? Okay, so I'll go through all of them. We have, of course, the 25 gem chest, which is kind of the generic one. Two times chance for Dragon Forge and ten times for Dragon Forge Plus. Of course, we have the 49 gem chest. This one is the Siren's chest, but you guys know exactly what it is. It's, um, I think everything in here is plus. So uh, that's, that's another one of the chests that you can open. Uh, there's a flourishing chest, of course, and then there's a champion chest, which we will include. But yeah, out of those three, the regular limited edition chest, the 49 gem chest, and the flourishing chest, which one do you guys think is the best? I've, through my experience, I've had the most luck with flourishing chests. Just, uh, I don't know why. I mean, considering they have the guaranteed reward and they have the multiplier for each specific armor that they give out, uh, it really does seem to be quite a bit better than the rest of the... Uh, than the rest of the chests that they have out. So, and I've really experienced quite a few chests, and this one is definitely better than pretty much anything else that I've seen. So, this is going to be quite a long video. I might end up actually skipping some of these, because you guys aren't really interested in the suspense sometimes, you know. A lot of people are more interested in actually seeing the armor. I don't know, I kind of want to see it come out of the chest, though. I think that's a really cool as well. So, I think we'll just, uh, we'll only skip it once we see what each armor is. So, I still can't believe we got it third try. That was ridiculous, guys. I'm going to go ahead and rub it in Timmy Gamer's face. And we got Judges Plus. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I'll be sure to message Timmy Gamer about this and rub it in his face. Because, you know, we're friends, though. I mean, I'm not trying to say, like, you know, a screw you kind of thing. But, um, you know, if we're, we're that kind of friends. You know, like, we'll rub it in each other's face whenever we get something good. Especially during a video. So, that was nice. So far, we've gotten two epics and one Dragon Forge. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip this one just because I didn't have a good feeling about it. They don't really have that good of chance to get the Highline Sleet Robes again once you're back at the start. So I think this one has two times chance for it, and yeah, see we didn't get it. So, six times chance for 29 gems. Now it's kind of strange, they have six times chance for that, and you're only spending 29 gems, compared to the 25 gems that you spend on this. It's very, very interesting how, um, how you know, you're just paying four extra gems, 
and you get six times chance for that. So I'm not entirely sure how the rates work. Maybe normally, like the flourishing chests for every Dragon Forge besides this specific one, maybe it has the same exact rate. That armor looks very weird. Maybe it has the same exact rate. Oh boy, uh, the same rate as the regular limited edition chest. So I don't know. That's why sometimes I'll just open the one for 12, and then if I have the chance, maybe I'll open the one for 19 gems as well. Just because, you know, both of those are cheaper. I hope they have the same rates. And once I get to the 19 gems, I have two times chance to get the Highline Sleet Robes, so I might as well, you know. So it's kind of something else you could buy instead of a Fusion Boost chest or a Jewelry chest, you know, for only uh, 12 gems. So something fairly cheap and something you can get something ridiculous from. So. We're only like halfway through this chest opening, guys, so far. This is insane. We've got a legendary, and we're actually doing very well so far. One Dragon Forge, two epics, one epic plus. I really want to get a Dragon Forge plus for this guy. I would be super happy, and I'm sure he would be too. I'm sure you guys would be happy to see one too. I, I would like freak out, guys. I was really hoping that one right there would have been a Dragon Forge plus as well. That would have been perfect timing. But, you know, that's not going to happen. So, legendary. All right. Alright, Armor of Torrents. Let's get 12 times chance on this one. Come on, let's get another Highline Sleet Robes. I'm actually gonna go check it out. I'll go put it on his main knight. I forgot to do that earlier, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it on his main knight. Uh, boy, he has quite a few armors already. But there it is, the Highline Sleet Robes. Does he have the ring and amulet set for it? I hope. Not the Astral... Oh, no, he doesn't have the ring. What about the amulet? Does he have it? I don't see it. Oh, that sucks, dude. But at least you have the armor, the hardest part to get. You should be able to get the um, the ring and amulet here fairly soon enough. Uh, I don't know, I think... I don't know if we're going to open up all the um, all the Dark Prince chests. We have so many of those. I might open those up and make it a separate video. Uh, I'm, he didn't really tell me if I could open them or not, but I feel like he's not really that worried about it. How many... Uh, let me check. He doesn't have any enchanted chest keys, so I'm assuming that he just wants me to open those. Uh, or that he's not really saving up specifically for anything, so I don't think he would really mind if we did. So I'll probably make a separate video about that. Uh, that should go out the day after this one goes out, so... I want to thank all of you guys that sent me messages based on my last video about the uh, chest opening requests. I really- OH MY GOD DRAGON FORGE! I just got interrupted, but we got a Dragon Forge, guys, what is it? Oh, Tide Plume Iron Guard. Same uh, elements as the other one. Let's go ahead and compare the stats, actually. We're gonna go put, uh, this... Uh, Highline on there. Actually, I could have just compared the stats by looking at them, but yeah, Highline is quite a bit better, but still, I want to check out the way that this one looks. Oh, very strange, very strange, but I do like the um, the weapon. Very unique weapon. So now we have two Dragon Forge, both of which are regular, an Epic Plus, and of course, a regular Epic that sucks. So we're going to go ahead and get right back into it. I want to watch the Gem Cow, don't want to spend too much. He said leave him with 1,000, so we have plenty to do. I'm not even keeping track of how many we've opened so far. I'm just kind of kind of mention the fact that we spent uh, 1,800 gems. So we got a legendary there. Um, come on. I shouldn't complain about wanting another Dragon Forge considering we literally just got one, but you know. You can never have too much Dragon Forge. Actually, you can at a certain point, but you know. More the merrier. Makes for a good video, I would say. So, was this 12 times chance, I think? Yep, still nothing. Still nothing. And then 20 times chance. Please, 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 please. Lame. So lame. Okay, so we should be able to open like 10 more maybe. I'm not entirely sure, but I hope so. I'm thinking we could open at least 10 more. So. And. Hey, that sucks. Yay. Woo! Okay, what do we get from this? Armor of Notice. Pretty lame. 12 times chance. Here we go! Yeah, I'm really sorry guys, this video might not be as entertaining anymore. It's really... I don't know. I don't like opening flourishing chests. I mean, I do because you get a better rate for Dragonforge. This is really annoying me, by the way, my hair. But you get a better rate for Dragonforge. It's still there. It's still there! Okay, there we go. Um... <laughs> you do have a... <laughs> okay, gather yourself. Come on, you can do this. We do have a better chance of getting a Dragon Forge from this chest compared to the regular one, but I don't like having to click every like five seconds. It's kind of frustra frustrating to me. So, oh, Aegis of the Dragon, that was one of the best legendaries back then. I really wanted it the way back then, and I didn't actually get one until just now, actually. I think that's the first one I've ever pulled from a chest or fused. 
I don't know, I might have used a different one, like, in one of my Fusion Frenzy videos, but I got rid of it, so. Anyway, just a little bit of history about me. I love that armor, very much, and I wanted it, but never really had the luck to get it. Oh, and we got a plus version, yes! Plus version of a really, really crappy armor. That's like a kick in the face, you know? When you get, like, a really crappy armor, that was a three star, I think that's the worst you can get from this chest, right? Just three stars? What does it say? I don't know, it doesn't even say the worst thing you can get, but I'm assuming it's a three star, that would make the most sense. Usually you can't get two stars from this limited edition chest, so... Yeah, that's like a kick in the face, you know, when you get the worst armor you possibly can, and it's a plus version. That sucks. Hey, we got a legendary plus, and we've got an epic plus, so now we just need to get a Dragonforge plus. Please? Did we get it this time? <gasps> oh, lame. Legendary. Combustion was a really popular armor as well, because it was one of the better ones. Alright, so we're running down to the bottom of our gem count. Not the bottom of our gem count, technically, but... Uh, I think we can open this chest, and... Uh, not another... Uh, I'll open another one just because. I think it'll be fine if he's, like, eight gems short. No big deal. Uh, we're gonna go for it. You know, we're gonna go for it. And we'll probably get... I don't know, I don't think you can get gems out of the, uh, Dark Prince chest either way, but... Let's go ahead and recap the armors that we've gotten. Some very, very nice Dragon Forge. So we, of course, got the Highline Sleet Robes right at the start. Third chest that we opened, we got that. Congratulations to you, Eclipse. I'm really, really glad we got that. And, of course... We got the Tide Plume Iron Guard, so does he have any other Water Air Dragon Forge? Uh, that might be it. Yeah, that's definitely it. So that's that's really awesome, honestly, getting two of really, really good Dragon Forge for that element combo. And then, of course, let me just scroll through this massive pile of epics here. We got our Judge's Plate Mail Plus, and of course the Bright Wind Plate Mail Plus. P -p -p Plus. So that's awesome. Congratulations to you, man. I really hope you enjoy those armors. Be sure to get them maxed as soon as possible. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. Uh, I guess I did my outro in reverse there, so that's a little bit weird. But like I said, I'll see you guys in the next one.